Well, seeing as films are back and films are actually starting to get released, I thought, why not do something I haven't done in a while? Firstly, make a video and why not just talk about a film? So, The Suicide Squad has finally been released. This is kind of a sequel to the original Suicide Squad, directed by David Ayer, but it works more as a reboot. Only a few characters return from the original Suicide Squad, and the characters that do return are pretty different from the incarnations that they played from the first film, except for maybe Amanda Waller, who is still a terrible human being and plays the role very stoically and doesn't really do much more else than that. So the film is no secret that it has been very, very well reviewed and according to Rotten Tomatoes is now one of the greatest superhero films ever made. I believe it now sits at 96% on Rotten Tomatoes and only Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse can beat that in the superhero genre. So is The Suicide Squad the best live action superhero film ever made? No. Is it a good film? Yes. Is it the best DCEU film? Yeah, it probably is the best DCEU film. But what did I think of James Gunn's The Suicide Squad? So firstly, I want to talk about the good things. I like talking about the good things and then move on to the things I didn't like. I think this will be pretty much a spoiler-free review of The Suicide Squad and I will talk in very general terms, but knowing me, I probably will let a spoiler slip out. So what did I like about The Suicide Squad? Well, first of all, it's definitely a Suicide Squad film. The Suicide Squad have always been a team that do the dirty, horrible missions, they're nitty gritty, that clean cut superheroes like Superman wouldn't do. Superman likes to save the world and be all clean and nice by the end, whilst the Suicide Squad will go on government led missions of where they're hiding dirty secrets. There is human experimentation and government cover ups in this, and it works perfectly as. A Suicide Squad story, something the first film didn't do, it was just a save the world story and you were wondering why wasn't Superman turning up at the end. In this film, I understand why he didn't turn up because it was a hush hush mission and in the end the bad guys are still bad. There isn't a proper happy ending, there is to an extent in that of course the Suicide Squad saved the day but there is a lot more that could have been done for it to be a happy ending. What I really like is characters die in this there are stakes and I was on the edge of my seat at the end because obviously there is a big battle at the end and I was left thinking I don't know who's going to come out of this alive and who's going to be dead because so many characters have died up to this point that really anyone could go and it really did feel an Idris Elba, Margot Robbie, someone like that could die. Again, that was something that was lacking in the original Suicide Squad, where I believe only two characters died, Slipknot and El Diablo, so it wasn't overall that interesting, because I knew who would make it to the end of the film. In the Suicide Squad, I didn't actually know who would get to the end, and I was surprised by one or two deaths. The action was very well choreographed, and was incredibly exciting and engaging. Something James Gunn always does well is making his films very visually engaging, which is something I loved about this is the cinematography. There are some of the most beautiful shots I've ever seen in a superhero film in this film and sometimes I was sitting in the cinema left in awe with the beauty of some of the shots James Gunn recorded. A lot of it happens with Harley Quinn, and there's probably about three to four moments where you're just kind of sitting there in the cinema enjoying just the visuals of the film. And it was just really well done and is definitely some of the best cinematography I have ever seen in a superhero film. The performances, of course, are fantastic. For me, Idris Elba and Margot Robbie really stand out. But someone I was very surprised by was Joel Kinnaman as Rick Flagg. Rick Flagg in the first film was very boring. He was just the army general, very clean cut. In this, he's given more to do. He's having back and forth with the characters and he's actually engaging with them and feels like he is starting to like them and becoming friends with them. When before, Rick Flagg just really didn't want to be there. In this film, he feels like an actual member of the Suicide Squad. It doesn't feel like he's babysitting these characters and he is doing things, engaging with them. He has some funny lines in this and you get to understand more about Rick Flagg, the character, instead of the guy that just liked Cara Delevingne 
and wanted to save her at the end of the day. So Joel Kinnaman in this really surprised me and he was one of my favourite characters. But in all honesty, all the Suicide Squad were fantastic. It was very well cast, very well acted and I want to see more of these characters. I really enjoyed all these characters. They all had something interesting to do which is something, again, the first Suicide Squad lacked. I think it is epitomised in one of the big action scenes in the Suicide Squad, the original 2016 one, where all the characters are fighting off just faceless henchmen, and all they're doing really is just shooting and punching. It's not particularly interesting. In this, all the characters have their own skill set, and James Gunn knows how to utilise each character and give them something interesting to do. Although John Cena and Idris Elba's characters are fairly similar, the film actually pokes fun at that and does recognise that they basically just shoot guns and are really good assassins and there is some jokes actually reflecting that, which I really appreciated. So I've spoke about all the things I like about this film. There isn't actually much I don't like in all honesty, but there was one, maybe two things that didn't quite sit with me, but in all honesty, I can look past them. For me, the humour in this film didn't always hit. There's a lot of jokes coming at you, and when you have a lot of jokes in a film, some just aren't going to hit. And it does feel like the film felt it was funnier than it was, and whilst I did think it was funny, most of the jokes for me actually didn't hit, and they felt a bit like a wet fart, and you just kind of had to sit there, sit through these jokes, and get through them, and move on to the next one. For me, it felt for every three jokes that were getting said, probably one was actually making me laugh. I never really laughed out loud at this film. I merely chuckled and some of them are just kind of like, let's get through that one now and move on to something else in this film. Something that also wasn't quite great in the film for me, even though I'm a massive nerd, I kind of worked this out. So probably the general audience member wouldn't, but I did predict most of the plot of this film. I went into it. And I kind of, in my head, had an idea of where it would go. And it kind of did just follow what I thought would happen, which characters would die, and where each character would end up throughout the film. Whilst it wasn't awful knowing that, it did kind of take away from me and some of the surprises. Although near the end of the film, I did think, who is going to die? And that did keep me engaged and interested. Nothing really ever came off, and there wasn't too many shocks in this film. If you have a rough idea of who you think will live and die, you probably have got most of them right. I do have a video of predictions of who I thought would live and die, and I got the majority of them right, which was a bit of a surprise. I thought some more would die. They didn't, but I still appreciated a lot of characters did die, because that is the Suicide Squad in essence. These characters die, they're expendable, they go on these shitty, horrible missions where they don't care if they get killed, so yeah, a lot should die. But overall, this film is fantastic. It was great to be in the cinema again, watching really good cinema, and I would love to see more of The Suicide Squad by James Gunn. I think he did something really interesting and fun with it, and overall, it was a really good time. Is it the best superhero film ever made? No, I still prefer Infinity War, Endgame, Dark Knight, films like that, but this is definitely the best DCEU film, and I think they can definitely spawn other sequels and spin-offs from this, and I think this is a good stepping stone for the DCEU, and they have definitely hit a home run with this film. Thank you.